YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, stream, and we can draw us back again if another. Super official. Hall, can you dig it, baby? I know you can. Hey, listen, man. All right, so this is going to be a loot slash haul video for my latest escapade or spending spree. Shopping spree, so to speak. Um, so if everything went well with my scheduling on my channel, the last video on my channel should have been the Harry's Hofbrow review. If you guys remember, that uh, review took place in San Leandro, California, and I was with my friends Plumpst. Pay Monster, Pi Zero X, and Nantos. Um, so we were eating there, and actually before there, we went to this pop-up in Hayward called Animon Life. I believe that's what it's called. I'll fix it if it isn't. But yeah, we went to Animon Life, which is a local Genshin and Ark Knights official merch pop-up. So actually, they were hosting this pop-up. Um, kind of a small space, but they were um, selling a bunch of official Genshin and Arknights merch there along with a few um, done by some uh, individual independent artists but a lot of official merch there so um, me my boy Plumps invited me and then I went on kind of a spending spree there because um, well a lot of Arknights things they're very rare to come by at cons and I like Genshin as well so bought a lot of things here and I'm gonna hopefully showcase them in this video this might be a little scuffed video because I don't want to open a lot of my things and so as to like I don't want to open them right now so I'm not going to open them for you guys on this video but I'll at least show you guys the box and um, what they look like so first things first we got this mat here as is tradition for some of my unboxing videos here I'm going to have the mat as the base so this mat was purchased from there um, this is Eula from Genshin Impact this is, mat is actually not for me it's for my good friend Koi I'm going to give this to him in a couple days but yeah it's a really nice mat I like the other official table mats. This is not like a TCG playmat sized mat. It's actually a bit larger. So it's a little bit inconvenient for those of you who primarily want to use this for TCG. It's not going to fit in your tubes or whatever. But it's a large size, which makes it great. So you can use it for other, other um, things. It's double stitched on the edges here. I don't know if you can see that. And um, great for FPS gamers too. Large size, so you can swing for those headshots. Um, what I have here next is a Humpty Dumpty mug. I believe that's what this is. So it's a mug um, of the a thing from Klee from Genshin Impact, as you can see here. And now I can open this as well because this is a gift for my good friend Koi. Um, but as you can see here, that's what it looks like. There's some Chinese on it. I'm going to show you all sides of this box, if possible. Here's the back. Some notes in Chinese. Mihoyo, as you can see. Super official! And there's the bottom. I'm not going to open this box out of respect for my friend Koi, so we'll leave it at that. So that's the Humpty Dumpty mug. Trust me, it's pretty cute. Alright, I'm going to grab some things from the side here. Another thing I don't feel like unboxing right now, but show you guys. This is an official Genshin mat, similar to this play, this desk mat. Here's another desk mat. If you guys can read that, that's one side of the box. I'll try to zoom out so you can see everything. Here's another side. In the corner here, you can see the elements. Turn it around again. So here's an image of what mat I got. It's hard to tell in black and white. But it's a really nice mat, really great art, official art. We got Kaching standing back to back with the master chef herself, Shang Ling. Um, you can see there's some food items going on in the corners too. You got Guoba, the main man on the side there. Really nice mat. I'm not going to open it right now because I don't feel like it. But that's what it looks like. So I'll just show you guys the box. Also, so this video should, uh, we'll try not to make it run so long. Mihoyo right there. The sides. Really nice box, actually. A lot of my friends who got mats, um, they didn't come with the box, kind of like this Yula one. But this specific mat came with a box, which is which was pretty nice. I'm going to continue grabbing things from over here. Next up, we got the Guoba coin pouch. So I'm actually going to Japan soon. 
And in Japan, coins are still very much used along with cash. So I thought this would be a very functional purchase. Um, oh, it comes with a pin. I mean, this isn't a Ziploc, so I think it should be safe to open up. Um, I do apologize for opening in front. So I accidentally hit the stop button when I was going down to put my phone down, but that's perfect. I unboxed it in the meantime. Here's what it looks like. You got a very cute Guoba here. A little bell on the bottom, you can hear that. Here's the back, a little spot to put your ID if you need to put your ID in there. Or, you know, any other card, like maybe you need a train pass or something in there. And then at first I thought there was a keychain on the back. It's not really a keychain, it's just a tag. You guys can see there, MiHoYo. Whoopa! It can open, I think, but I'm not having trouble with it. There you go, that's the contents. And then you can, of course, zip open Globa. There's a little keychain thing here on the top if you want to hang it from anywhere. And then we got the zipper. It's a one-handed operation here, so I do apologize. And yeah, it's got some space in there to put whatever you need. It's not super spacious, like actually I'm feeling it. I don't think it goes all the way down, but more than enough to keep your coins in there and a very stylish look and it comes with that clip. So that's the Guoba coin pouch. Grab some more stuff in here, whatever I can find. Okay, so here, and it's kind of rough because it's in plastic, so it's a little reflective, but here is an acrylic stand. This is a limited edition one. This is Isekai, this is like a Genshin Impact Isekai collaboration. It's the first time I've ever seen it actually. And we have my queen Kaching here, looking nice in her kind of like maidish outfit. I'm not really sure. It's like a cross between a maid and an office worker. I don't know. Cause she's got like a tie thing going on. Very nice. There's a little stand for it at the bottom. And yeah, I'm not gonna open it up for the camera, but just to give you guys a look. Really nice. This ran me about, I think 30 bucks. It might've been 20 bucks actually. I think it was 25, something around that range. But it's a limited edition crossover. Very nice. And what else do we have in here? Oh yeah, I bought a notebook. This was one of my questionable purchases. Like I was on the fence if I wanted this. But we got an Arcanite's notebook here. That's the back. Here's the front. We got F Eater. Um, and I'm blanking on this character's name. They're a supporter. We got Texas, Exia and the Emperor of Penguin Logistics. I really like this art. Three time Arcanine's Notebook. Um, Project Red here, Spectre, and Scotty's Whale, and Glaucus on the bottom. Glaucus, underrated character. I mean, I don't really like Glaucus herself that much. Um, I don't really use her, but she's often paired with Blue Poison or Weedy. And those two are some of my favorite characters in Arcanine. But yeah, this is a nice notebook. I'm not gonna open it up, but just to show you guys. Not a huge notebook, but um, I do take notes every once in a while, especially at work. I don't know if I'll use this specifically for my work. I might use this at my home desk, but I do take notes from time to time. So nice to have a notebook that has your favorite characters on it. And then here, we have a giant acrylic stand. This ran me $25. This is Unectis from Genshin, sorry, Unectis from Arcanites in her skin. Unectis, one of my first six stars in the game. Not the first, but one of the first. Um, this is her in her skin. Very nice, you can see that little bird there. Her and her giant axe in an alternate outfit. Very, very um, detailed and just overall impressive stand. I'm probably gonna display this somewhere nice. Um, it's, it's quite large. Um, I don't know what I can do to show you the scale of it, but it's bigger than a Kaching one, for sure. If you can see, I Kaching, he sideways, and then the neck is there. There's the back of the packaging. Comes with her name tag too. I'm oh, sorry, show you guys there. The Forge Master. Pretty cool. I like the stand. 
So I actually, I was very torn. There was way too many stands there that I wanted because, you know, very rare to find such high quality Arknights merch. So I wanted to get stands for like half of my characters, but I only wanted to get one. And to decide between it, I gave my boy Plumps the decision. I showed him the two. I was debating Chen's E2 artwork or this Unekti's one. And then Jeff thought this one looked better, so I got this one. Um, there were a ton I also wanted, but you know, just not enough space and money, man. So I chose Unekti. Like the Weedy one was also great. I love Weedy. Yeah, so I accidentally pressed the pause button again. But that gave me a good opportunity to get the rest of my stuff out anyway, so here we are. This next item here is a um, face mask or eye mask based on Arknights. It's the Good Night one by Choshanland. Basically, how I see it is like it's an Amiya themed one. There's the back. And since this is in a Ziploc, I, I feel okay taking it out. I pre pre un I unzipped it earlier. Actually, it's in more plastic in here, so I don't know if I'll open it actually. But I'll take it at least take it out of the ziplock just to give you guys a better view of it. Again, a one-handed operation, and I do apologize. Okay. There's the eye mask. So, like I said before, I'm going to Japan soon, and I'm probably going to be doing a lot of sleeping on planes and trains. So. Perfect. You can sleep in style. Put this over your face. Block out the lights. Next we have here is actually a free gift. This is a balloon. It comes with a little, um, I don't know what you call this. Like a little stand or like a flag pole thing. Um, this is an, a balloon of an animal slime. This is one of the freebies they gave you for purchasing a certain amount of merch. So, yeah. I'm not going to open this, but my friend Andy opened his. You can blow this up, um, attach it to this um, pole here, and then they give you this like stand here. You can stick the pole and then the balloon will be up here. And this one is of an animal slime. There are multiple variations. I got the slime. Andy got um, Sayu's little pet thing. But yeah, that's what this is. I'm grabbing some more stuff here. Here's another freebie. It's the Zhongli pin here. Pretty self-explanatory. I actually got the Barbara one at first, but I traded with my friend Paimon because he wanted Barbara. So I got the Zhongli one. You know, I'm a Zhongli user myself, so I didn't mind the trade. Good stuff. I'm gonna, I guess I'll show you guys all the freebies now. So here's another freebie. Arknight's postcard. I got a little bit bent up in the bag, but we got Rosmontis, Amia, and Suzeron here. The, the children, I guess, or the younger. Members of Rhode Island, pretty nice. Put the postcard on the back. Um, we'll do all the Genshin, oh, sorry, all the Arknights freebies, I guess now. Suzeron pin. Actually, so I was actually chatting up the register, or the, the, the person at the register when I was there. They asked me which freebie I wanted and I wanted all Suzeron, as you know, Somewhat of a suzerain stand myself, you know, she's one of my best slow supporters. And so I got all, she gave me all suzerain things. So we got the suzerain pin here. And a suzerain kind of like badge keychain thing here. As you can see, there's like the little foam charm on the back here. Same art, just very nice quality merch. They were also talking to me about the other Arknights things, and then they're like, when they saw my Unectis thing, they're saying how they spent like 400 bucks on trying to get Unectis. Crazy stuff, man. So they ran out of Genshin stickers. All my other friends got stickers, but I was the last to check out. So instead of a sticker, they gave me a Ganyu coaster. I don't really drink that often, but you know, maybe bring this somewhere if I need a drink. I don't have Ganyu either, but nice coaster. That's it for the freebies. Um, speaking of pins though, I was showing you guys pins. I caved and bought a pin of Yoimiya, as you guys may know. Actually, actually you guys might not know, because I didn't post the Yoimiya rolls on YouTube because I was too lazy and I was too depressed. But I'm a Yoimiya simp, one of my favorite characters from Genshin Impact. So I had to get her pin. 
I felt bad actually. This is one of my last purchases. At the end of the, when I was lining up to check out, I was like, damn, I didn't get anything for Yo and Mia. So I was like, gotta get something. Here's a luggage tag of Texas from uh, Arknights. So like I said, again, going to Japan soon. So I got a lot of things for traveling. This luggage tag will come in handy. You can uh, attach it to your luggage and I'm not gonna open it, but you can actually like put a card in there too if you want, like an ID card or a train pass, if you want. There are some instructions. Check out those QR codes if you want. My phone's not picking them up actually, but maybe that's because I'm in video mode. But yeah, shout out to Animon Life, by the way. Nice art. And then here, the second last thing I want to show you guys is this Arknight's Gotcha. It's not it's not a spending spree without a gotcha, right? So this is Spectre, the Unchained, I believe that's her name. Spectre Alter. She's not yet released in Global yet. But me and my boy Andy, he got the Scotty one, so I honored him and got the Spectre one. And basically, I got one of these because I already opened it up. So I'm not going to make my own separate video on this. But yeah, let me show you guys which one I got. There you go, Rhodes Island. He got the squad actually. He got um, Gladia, Spectre, and Scotty all in one keychain. Nice. A little bit overpriced, but that's what you, that's what it is with the gotcha ones. All right. Now I'm gonna move everything out of the way for a sec because I'm gonna do the grand unboxing here. I'm debating whether I'm going to leave it as make it its own standalone video or include it in this video. We'll have to see at the length of things. Um, and also my posting schedule on YouTube, but I bought something quite intense here. I'm gonna have to unbox it anyway, or like remove it from this. So we're gonna pause it here, and we might be back. See you next time. This video is sponsored by Chicken in a Biscuit. Chicken Biscuit. Still the beautiful. Subscribe. 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 Like the video. Yes, my friend. Bide your time and hold out hope.